Good morning and welcome to our meditation group, Flourishing During Times of Uncertainty. My name is Father Frank Buckley. I am delighted to be your host this morning. Happy Friday. Today is going to be a great day. As all as I promised in weeks past on Fridays, we would, for our inspiration, use some poetry. And this morning I have decided to choose a poem from Mary Oliver called Wild Geese that will be a good launching for our inspiration into meditation. <clears throat> so this is a three-part program. The first is a little inspiration. The second part is our heart of the program where together as a community, we give the first hour of the day to God and we start with a 20 minute meditation practice where we turn the gaze inwards, we go within or we go without. And then rather than jumping up and starting our Friday, we just take a little moment as a community to do together a Jesuit Ignatian examine. I will uh, try and come up with three places where I notice God has come alive in my life recently. And I invite you to put those in the comment box as well. If you're new to the group, welcome. Feel free to put your name in and tell us where you're from. Don't be shy. Um, and with that, let's get started. So uh, one of my favorite authors, Mary Oliver, died a few years ago. I've been on many retreats where people who know a lot more about poetry than I do read her poetry, and it always has a way of embodying me and uh, bringing me to a place of calm and joy. So let's begin. Wild geese, we do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair and I will tell you mine. And meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are headed home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh, exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. Amen. Thank you, Mary Oliver. My favorite line in this whole poem is the world offers itself <coughs> to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese. So let the world offer to us our imagination. By moving into the next part of our program, our 20 minute contemplative practice, Thich Nhat Hanh says when we practice mindfulness, we experience a miracle in our everyday ordinary lives. So beautifully, when I was on retreat with him before I entered the society, he gave a beautiful reflection and I will never forget it. He says the miracle is not only that Jesus walked on water, 
but that he walked on the green earth. So on that note, I invite you to get comfortable, take your shoes off, place the soles of the feet on the ground or in a cross-legged seated position, and I will lower the lights. It's Friday, I'll do a little guided meditation to get us into this, and then we will just sit and enjoy our breath. So unplug from all technology, I'll get the timer set for 20 minutes. And let's begin. Listen, listen, the sound of this beautiful bell returns us to our true home. I invite you to lower your eyes or close your eyes, whatever feels safe and wonderful to you. And let's do three diaphragmatic breaths to get grounded <coughs> as we begin our weekend. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You can hold your belly and bring the breath there. Together, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last time. Give it all you got. Inhale and exhale. Release the hands. Take the attention to the body. Feel your feet pressed on to the green earth, our mother. And just feel her as she touches the soles of your feet. Notice any texture. Next, take the attention to the chair or the cushion, providing support. We all need a little support in our lives. Let's reflect on where we felt supported recently. It could be a conversation with a friend, listening to the poem, seeing something of beauty, anything at all, just where we felt supported. Moving up the body, we arrive at the shoulders, Meister Eichhardt says we get to a God more by subtraction than addition. So just let go, surrender, release anything you've been holding on to in the shoulders. Relax, renew, restore. And just notice if you feel a little lighter. Moving towards the front of the body, we arrive at the heart, that place the spiritual world literally touches the physical world, and see if we can come up with something this morning that brings us a little joy, and name it in one word. Place that word next to your heart. And as a community, let's breathe into the joy. Inhale. Exhale. And just notice what you feel. Finally, we arrive at the forehead, the area between the eyebrows, the seat of intuition that place that always tells the truth, and we focus on an intention for today. 
St. Ignatius challenges us to be courageous enough to ask God for something great and beautiful in this moment. We'll seal the intention with an inhale, exhale, take the attention to the traffic or the external sounds, the sensations of the body, drop down to the ocean floor and enjoy a little deep rest. Please continue.
gently bring your awareness back to the room. If your eyes were closed, go ahead, open the eyes. Let's circle the wrist one way. Then the other a little Friday morning stretch, lean to the left and then to the right. A little back bend, pull the tummy in, release the hands, shake out anything you've been holding on to. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's move into our little Jesuit examine right now. And please feel free to drop something in the box if God's come alive for you in a way you feel comfortable to share. Dive right in. Um, <coughs> as we go into the weekend, three places God's come alive for me recently. Let's start with one of the most present was uh, when I walked into the center this morning. Chris, who is in charge of the volunteers, invited me to look into the refrigerator and showed me that it's this huge refrigerator, but the whole right side was filled with sandwiches and fruits and vegetables and meals for our food pantry tomorrow. So woohoo, we're gonna have plenty of food. That's always great. Uh, one of my favorite things, this is the psychologist in me, is to give people choices. We really do well with self-efficacy rather than just handing people something to give them choices. Uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, turkey, or pasta. It's getting me hungry just thinking about it. Um, so that's one uh, thing. Second is uh, Sunday I am doing for the Spiritual uh, Institute in Orange County. Uh, I am doing a little uh, immersion program for them on uh, brain health and Ignatian imagination. And I've been praying and thinking about it and kind of working on my approach. And I am so grateful. <clears throat> this is how God works in my life in this uh, group that I promised you I'd give poetry on Friday. And I was trying frantically at the last minute to get something downloaded by Mary Oliver. I've heard wild geese a zillion times, but I've never heard that part of imagination in it. So it's a perfect segue into my presentation for this Sunday. So I'll be thinking of all of you as I present and very grateful for synchronicity. And then last but not least, um, no secret to everyone here, uh, the pandemic, COVID is on the rise, um, and it's stressful times, anxious times. Um, I heard Tommy Rosen say when the whole pandemic started, get yourself a morning practice. And I'm telling you, I could have never done this in a million years without you. I am so grateful to see your names in the comment boxes, your comments the way you tune in every morning uh, to come together to be contemplatives in action on our Jesuit campus in Hollywood. Happy Friday. Today is a great day. Have a beautiful weekend. I look forward to seeing you Monday. God bless you. Black cats and voodoo dogs. I'm in, t t t t t